So, Jimmy, a 3-0 defeat tonight, but do you think it was a 3-0 game? No, I don't think it was a 3-0 game, but we just... I, I, I thought we gave them three goals, really. Uh, there was errors in all of them, uh, things that we could have done better. Um, and, and goals change games, don't they? You know, end there when they've got the two goals to make it 3-0. At 1-1, second half... Uh, sorry, 1-0, second half with 20 minutes gone. We're the better side. We've had two, two half... Half decent chances, well, one good chance and one half decent opening, which we put over the bar. And goals change games, don't they? And, and they managed to get the second off another set piece, uh, which is disappointing. Um, but it was more, I was just saying then, it was more the, the fact of the way we actually gave the set pieces away, what we didn't do well. And you know, because we were in the first half at 0 0 for the first 20 25 minutes, and I thought we were really comfortable. Um, but I thought we just played a little bit comfortable as well when we had a lot of the ball and they sank in as a. 10 behind it with a one striker up top we were moving it sideways they were happy to let us move it sideways but then when it came to that final ball or trying to break the lines move the ball into the next third um, we didn't do enough of it we didn't have enough urgency in our play um, so yeah uh, with the chances that we've had and missed and with the defending that we you know not as a as a back line but just as a as a whole really with bad decisions make giving silly free kicks away then at this level against the good side who was second, um, you get punished and that's that's what happened. Avro were really well organised today, especially off the ball. Does that show you the level we need to be at to compete at the top end of this table? I, ju I thought we were a little bit, like, just a, bit, a little bit naive. I'm not having a, like, I would never have a go at that group of lads in there. They're all really together and you know, give everything for us but I just thought a little bit at times tonight you could tell they were a well oiled unit who you know I was just saying when we break they're making a foul, a clever foul to break the play to stop us gaining, gaining any momentum um, little things when the ball goes dead they'll kick the ball away two or three yards they'll stand on it, stop you from playing sometimes we don't do enough of it, you know a decision will get round the Referee, the, the ball will come in, they'll get the bodies in, they'll go down. And, and I just think it's without being, you know, I didn't think Avro were brilliant tonight, but they've come here and they've kept a clean sheet and scored three goals. Disappointing from our point of view, although, like I said before, we've had chances at 1 at uh, one nil, to, and then if we score, it makes a, it, you know, it changes the game completely. Um, but, you know, they're a good, well organised side, and that's, that's why they're up there. They don't give a lot away, we knew exactly how they would play. Um, it happened down there. We had a loads of the ball down there. That we made one mistake. Um, they scored, and we couldn't break them down. Um, and it largely been the same tonight. So, look, you know that's how they go about the business, and they're getting a lot of results off the back of it. So, fair play to them. We move on and go again Saturday. And all our defeats since October have come midweek. Do you think there's anything in that, or is it more just a reflection of the Saturday Tuesday fixture schedule? Um, I didn't know that, that was the case. Uh, I think it's a little bit of everything. I wouldn't think I wouldn't read too much into that. Um, maybe sometimes it just depends who the opposition are and who they've played on the Saturday, who you've played on the Saturday. Um, you know, and, and it, it's a tough one, isn't it? You know, they made five subs tonight. Well, the subs kept coming actually, and I thought they must have made. It looked like they made seven or eight actually at one stage, but we we managed to get our subs onto the pitch. Um, but it's easier to make your subs when you're in the ascendancy. We were chasing the game. Um, you know, the subs are then really trying to come on and prove a point or do something to change the game. And, and it doesn't always work in their favour um, because they're trying to push the limits. Um, so I wouldn't say it's anything to do with us playing on midweeks. We've had some good results on midweeks. Um, but it just it's one of those where we're... We've got lads who are some lads who we've got in that dressing room haven't played Saturday Tuesday football, um, and that's no slight against the cells. It's just getting used to the level of football and the amount of games that we're playing, and um, sort of try to patch them up now and see them through and keep them as fresh as we can for the next game. Because we've just said in the dressing room, although we're disappointed right now, we've got to take the positives from that game, learn from the mistakes and the negatives and then go and turn that into three points on Saturday against Lower Breck. And if we go and do that on Saturday, then we can move on. But there's no point in dwelling on something that's happened. We just need to improve on it. We know we're not going to win every game at this level. 
yeah, we're disappointed with the result tonight, and, and but we've got to make sure that we learn from the mistakes and go and put them right and going forward. And I'm sure with the endeavour the lads show and we the tactical knowledge that we'll give them and hopefully you know pick things up and, and make make things right, then we'll going forward we'll get back to winning ways. Great, thanks, Jimmy. Cheers, Dan.